I need your eyes, my friend. This is Hunval's safe haven. Though we be a mercy in Shire. Hunval, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. I can only bring you as far as your father, Hunwald. You are the man who must reach his heart and lead him to reason. Are we talking about the same man? Your father is a spendthrift, Homeworld. He ran this shire into the muck. <laughs> oh, Alvgar, you jest. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's site. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln. Away, but with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single dame will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here she'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in. Let's not break our bones without some alcohol to dull the coming pain. Alewife! For these stout Saxons are round on me. Well, that's, uh, uh... That's kind of you. Unexpected, like. Cheers to this day, one who knows the true worth of silver. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then, we shall set forth in search of adventures new! You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. You'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written-about man in history. Alvgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to?
up and lose some silver! One waltz in trouble. They call this case of the Lord. Jesus! You brought a bloody train! Oh, I have been struck down, pruned within an inch of my life. I will survive. Must. Avenge me! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Hunwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me! The son of a beloved elderman, was it? I believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs. to dishonor me.
Look! Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink this... What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry... Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Hunwald. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? City of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Sunan, guide me.
show me. You live. I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Eldermen? Was it soldiers, or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he... Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can.
was that fellow? Ravenhead? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. Show me what lies ahead.
myself here. See you, old friend.
Aid me, be my eyes. Survey the area, Sunan. See. What do you see, Sunan? Gaspar! 
Cast about this land, my friend. Go, Sunan.
stay awake. Herebrith, tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunward, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin. I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbio. That's all. Lord Hunbio has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Unwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwal's seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Something on your mind? Eivor, I realize the strides you've taken. My oath to you will last an eternity. You will owe me a blood oath when all our work is done. Blood? Dear Lord. Wait here till I return. When did you last see the Elderman? Leave us be. It is not your place to be asking such questions. Show me what lies ahead.
What do you see, Sunan? Cornwall's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Have a look, Sunan. Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. Where is the Elderman? Did you see where he went? I, I don't know. Elderman who? I'm sorry, I'm busy. Are you the head sister here? Aye, and I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. 
It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. I need your eyes, my friend. Go, my eyes. These tunnels run deep. 
was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? More Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. Smuggling will always be difficult. But I prefer it to paying tribute. Never again will we... Thank you. 
was fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. I know a lonely door that would love to meet this key. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off, but he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hood.
laughing at me. 